This Instagram page right here has managed to grow to over 90,000 followers on Instagram in just under two months. This page has also managed to grow to over 450,000 followers on TikTok in the space of around six months. This page that creates very similar content has managed to grow to over 200,000 followers in the space of just a few short months. Now what have I told you that I'm actually the owner of the first page that I showed and inside of this video I'm going to show you how to make the reels that help me to get this page to where it is today. Not only that, this method is totally free and I'm going to show you guys today for totally free how you can create these viral videos to blow up your Instagram and TikTok. So if you want to learn how to get results like these then make sure you stick around until the end as I'm going to be showing you in this video for totally free. First things first, the only things that you are going to need to make these videos is a phone or a laptop, an Instagram account and a TikTok account and then also you need to download the app CapCut which once again is totally free. Once you have done all of this we can get started so let's jump straight into it. I'm going to go over to my laptop as that is where I edit my videos but you can follow along and do this process from your phone if that is all you have. Okay so step one is going to be to find a good audio to use. You can either do this via TikTok or Instagram. Today I'll be showing you on Instagram so you go over to my laptop I'm now on Instagram. So what you're going to do is you're either going to go to a bigger motivational page in your niche or you can use the search or explore feed to find these. So I'm going to go and use the page that I showed in the in the um, introduction of this video. So right, we're going to take a look at this page, pretty big page in the same sort of niche as me. So we're going to go and take a look at their videos. What you want to do is you want to find one that has uh, that is an outlier and it's got more views than the rest of his other videos. So as we can see here, typically this page gets around 40, 30, 20 thousand views. However, recently he's had a few that have done better than the average, which is 100k and 90k. So, seeing as this one is pretty recent, I'm going to go and use a sound and I'm going to make my video using this sound. As it's an outlier, it's got a good like to view percentage, which means it hopefully will perform well for me. And another thing is he's just posted it. So, clearly, it is a new sound that is going to work well. So, once you've found this sound, you're just again going to go and copy the link put it into either iGram for Instagram or you've got SSS tick for TikTok. But I was using Instagram, we're gonna to go to iGram, paste the link in there, download it. Cool, so now we've got the sound downloaded. We then need our clips to put over the top of it. So where do we find these? You're also gonna find these on Instagram. However, you're not gonna find these from motivational pages in your niche. You're more gonna be looking at people that are like almost videographers, those kind of pages. So they have some really high quality clips of whatever niche you're in. So for my niche, it would be things like cars, watches, uh, travel, things like this. But if you're in a different niche, you can do this for the same thing. Now you have to be a little bit careful with copyright, but most people don't have problems because you're not just stealing their content, you're almost repurposing it. You'll get a few people that might ask for credit and things like that, but as long as you just give them the credit or whatever for their clip, then you should be fine. Now, if you want to totally eliminate that chance of getting a copyright strike or something like that, then you can use a stock footage site that is totally free, such as Pexels. This way, there's no chance that you'll get a claim on your account. However, I've been doing this for months and I've had no problems personally using this strategy. This is what most of the big pages that have been blown up recently are doing. So I would recommend doing this. Right, so you're going to find these by going to the explore page. You're going to have to try and create your feed or you can go on the search feed and try and find these pages. But as you can see, my feed is pretty well curated. So there's a lot of things that I could use as overlying clips for the videos. So what you will do is you'll find some that look quite cool and you will then save these and you once again download them either using iGram or SSS Tick, depending whether you're getting them from TikTok or Instagram. Once you've got a couple of clips downloaded, you can then use these to put on top of your video. So I've already got a file that is full of clips, so I'm not gonna go and download these now as I've got a file that's full of them. So I'm just gonna use that for today's video to speed things up. But if you guys wanna do this totally free, you can go and get these clips. However, if you do wanna bypass this step, join my free Discord community in the description of this video as you can find some clips in there. I've got loads of folders that you can use that have loads of clips inside of them for the money sort of motivation niche. Step number three now is gonna be editing the video. So this is the biggest part and the hardest part you could say, although I wouldn't say it's too hard, um, especially considering I'm gonna show you how to do it step by step in this tutorial. But this is the part that takes the most effort. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna go and use the free app CapCut that I told you to download. Once you've got this, you're gonna go new project and then you're just gonna put in the sound that you downloaded into this thing. So as you can see, we've now got this uh, video in there that is from a different page. 
what you're then going to do is you're going to go and extract audio so that way they are separated and you're going to put this top video as an overlay as we can then use this as a guide for our video but once it comes to the time to export it we can delete this or hide it that way we have got our totally original video okay so i'm also going to add my file of clips so once you guys have made your own file or downloaded one from my discord you can go and put them in here. Okay, right, so now our file has uploaded to CapCut. Once again, you can do all of this on your phone if you need to. I just personally prefer a laptop, but if you don't have a laptop, you can use your phone. So you've now got your file full of loads of luxury clips, amazing. So we can start going and creating this video. So what you can do, if you want, you can use theirs as a guide. So where he cuts his videos, I could go and cut mine. So as we can see here, if we go slowly, he cuts his video there. We can use the arrows to see where the exact cut is. And now we can just go in and copy that. So I might want to go and use the, the first clip is quite important because you want to have a clip that is going to be a good thumbnail, but we'll talk a little bit more about that at the end. Okay, right. So your first clip is going to be one of the most important ones as you want it to hook people in. So I've gone for this clip of a Porsche driving and it kind of fits the vibe of the video as the sound is a little bit sort of dark and the tone of the video is quite dark. So it's quite a dark sort of video to start with and the Porsche is driving, which is good because it means there's motion in the video, which is going to help to hopefully hook people in. Okay, right, so I'm going to quickly fill out all of the clips, but I don't want you guys to sit here and watch me do that. So with the power of editing. Okay, right, so now I've done all the editing, I'm just going to let it play through so you can see what we are working with. Repeat this before going to bed. I cool. work so hard that those around me think I am insane. So as you can see, I've tried to match the clips with when he like pauses in, in his sentences. This just makes the video flow a lot nicer and if you're cutting it, because when you do a text in a minute, it's going to be cutting in between and stuff and it won't look as clean. So that I can become the strongest and most resilient warrior alive. I will push myself beyond my limits every day, and I refuse to let any obstacles stand. Okay, so this clip I need to change because there was a little mistake in there. As you can see, right at the end it switches, so we can't really have that. As once again, it's gonna make the video look great. So I'm just gonna switch that out for this one. Why not? There we go. And cool, the video all looks good. So now next step, I'm gonna quickly add in my logo. If you guys make your page and you have a logo that you wanna stick on it, you're just gonna need to make sure that it is, it is transparent and then you can put it on your page somewhere centrally. I have the settings for my logo and I just stick it up there. So that way it is in the same place every single time. So I just look at the coordinates to make sure it's in the same place every single time. All right, so now the next sort of step to do is to add the text. So we're gonna go and use auto captions from CapCut which is just going to help us do this, but we are they're not always accurate, so we are going to have to go in and adjust them. So, cool. I also use Classic 2 as my text, make the font size 7, and we go like this. Right, so now our text will look something like that, which is pretty cool. You're then going to need to go and pull it to the middle of the page. Nice. Okay, what I then do is I split up the text in here because some of them are a bit too big. And if you have like long bits of text, then uh, there's less things going on, which is gonna keep people less engaged. So I'm just gonna go in and chop all of these up a little bit more. That way the video is gonna be better to watch and it should keep the retention up a bit more because people are gonna be looking at the text switching rather than just reading a long sentence. And it makes it look cleaner if everything is on one line. So I'm just gonna go in and do that really quick. Okay, right, so I've just split up all the text into what I think kind of goes well. So I split it up when there's like a break in the sentence, which then makes it easier to go in and edit it and edit it to the right points. So now, as you can see, there's a lot of gaps. I don't like this in my video. I would rather just have the text be flowing the whole way through, whether it's fading in and out, but I want all of them to be like almost connected to each other. So I'm gonna very quickly go and do that and just make sure that it's all matched up to with what he's saying because CapCut usually doesn't do this very, very well. So this bit does take a bit long, but once again, you guys can just do this yourself. I'm gonna cut this so that way you don't have to watch me go and do all this boring stuff. But just to show you the first bit, so it's just like, I'm just gonna watch it through like this. Okay, so that done it pretty well. It was all um, working well together. But as you can see, this one, it has, um, yeah, it, it's CapCut's made it start too early when he's actually start speaking there. And I'm just gonna drag that to there and bam, now I'm onto the next bit. And once again, I'm gonna to need to change it because this one's going too early. So this is just what I'm gonna do throughout the video until it's done till the end. Okay, right, so I've just done all of that text. There still might be a few markups. So I'm just gonna put this in full screen and go and watch it through to see that basically if there's any mess ups I need to go in and correct. Repeat this before going to bed. I will work so hard that those around me think I am insane so that I can become the strongest and most resilient warrior alive. Okay. I will push myself beyond my limits every day and I refuse to let any obstacles stand in my way.
Okay, cool. So that's pretty good. There's a few things I need to quickly go in and adjust. So I'm just going to do that now. So these little like glitches that for some reason been happening on CapCut recently, hopefully they fix it in the next update. Like, can you see there's like a split second where it flickers in and out? Uh, to, to fix this, I just delete it. I've, uh, I'll copy it, delete it, and then re-put it in. And that seems to fix it. So cool, right. So that was all the text done. Okay, so that is pretty much it. Now we've fixed all the text, this video is pretty much good to go. So I will then just simply go and export this and post it on my Instagram. So if you want to go and check this out, by the time this video is out, this will be posted on my Instagram. So you can go and see how well it done. But I'm just going to export this. Um, make sure when you're exporting it, you do two things. First, you make sure that this is hidden or you can just go and delete it. That way you're not just going to be reposting his video with your text and logo over the top. And also you need to make sure these clips are muted because if they are not, then you're going to have the random songs that are on the clips in the video. So mute that, blind that, all of that should be good. Then you're just going to go and export it. I do it in 180p, 30 FPS. I'm just going to call this video one why not and then this is just going to go and save and now it is ready to be posted on my page okay right, so that brings us to step number four which is to simply go and post this to these platforms i'm going to give you a few tips on to help you post to these platforms and make sure you're getting the most you can out of it but you want to post this video to instagram tiktok and youtube shorts as the more places you post it the more chance it has of blowing up and obviously want the video to do as well as it can do so you may as well post it to all of them this is also going to help us build an audience across multiple platforms so if something like your TikTok or Instagram got banned for whatever reason, hopefully you'd still have that platform on TikTok and you can still make money through TikTok or you have that platform on YouTube and you can use the YouTube to make money. That way you're just not on just one place and relying on that one sort of thing to bring in your income. Okay, so some tips for posting on Instagram. If you want, let's say, an American audience or whatever audience you're going after, make sure you're posting at key peak times of traffic on the platforms. So I'm just going to post a pop-up on the screen right now of the one for America, because a lot of people probably want an American audience as they are pretty good for consumers and it means you can charge more for shout outs on your page. So wherever you are in the world, convert the time zones and post at these time zones as this is gonna be high traffic times and hopefully make your video get some good views. Next, you wanna make sure the thumbnail of the video is good. So I'm gonna show you what I mean by this. I don't mean to go and make a thumbnail, you can do that. And that would be something like the, the page Warzone does, they make thumbnails, but you can just make sure that your first clip on your video is really good. And even if you take the text back a split second, it just means that your thumbnail is gonna have no text. And when it's on the explore feed, people might think they're watching a video of a car and actually get motivated. Cause some people might not wanna click on the motivational video they see the text but if they don't they might get baited into clicking it and then watch the whole video so that is another good thing you can do to make sure that the thumbnails look good this just means that when people go on your page it looks nice and clean and also if they see it on the explore feed then they might click on it which is going to get you more views and finally for the caption the hashtags and on instagram the topic so for the caption what you want to do is you want to have something that is like going to get people to comment on your video or maybe get them to tag a friend. So maybe you, maybe if the video is about a friend, it's about oh you and your best friend, you should start this business. You could say tag that friend that you're going to start a business with or send this to that friend so you can start that business. That, that could be your first line. This is going to help you get shares, which is going to get your video pushed up further. You can then for the caption, if it's not something like that, you could maybe say, ask a question about the video. But let's say the video was about key habits to keep you motivated or key habits to become a millionaire. Say, which habit do you did you like the most? Or say something that is good, just gonna try and push people to comment on your video or interact with your video because interaction is gonna help your video get pushed out. And then for the hashtags, what you wanna do is you wanna have between sort of seven and 15 hashtags that are relevant to your niche. Otherwise, if they're not relevant to your niche, you are going to have people in unrelevant niches or people that don't want to see your content seeing it, which is going to harm the post. So put some good hashtags from your niche. You can also go and look at some bigger pages in your niche to see, get some inspiration, see what hashtags they're using. But yeah, between seven and 15 is a good amount. And then for topic on Instagram, you want to make sure you're picking whatever topics are relevant to your page. So you can do a maximum of three. I just use the topics sports cars because there's a lot of sports cars in my posts and then also entrepreneurship because entrepreneurship and motivation kind of similar so if there's only one that's relevant to your page then only use that one otherwise it's going to get pushed out to the wrong people and once again this will harm your post now for the hardest part you need to be consistent these platforms love people that are consistent 
So post every single day for at least two months before you can say, oh, this doesn't work and you will see some growth. It may be slow, it may be quick, but just make sure that you keep doing these videos, being consistent, and I can assure you that your accounts will have some sort of traction. If you did find this video valuable, all I ask from you is that you subscribe to this channel, drop a like, drop a comment, and also share this to a friend as it helps my videos get pushed out there more and help even more people on their journey. Now me putting this video out there is a bit of a risk towards me because people can copy exactly what I've done to grow my page and it may even saturate my niche a little bit. So in return, if you could subscribe to this channel, it would be highly appreciated. Also, if you're not in my Discord, make sure you join that. It is totally free. The link is in the description. It is a great community full of like-minded individuals all trying to grow and become better versions of ourselves. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, join it. I also sometimes run free events in there and do some free calls. So, so yeah, make sure you join it as otherwise you're going to be missing out. Now, you know how to create quality videos to help blow up your Instagram. Make sure you go and check out this video over here as I explain my top growth tips for Instagram that are just going to be the extra little keys that you need to blow up your page and hopefully grow as fast as I did, getting 90,000 followers in just two months. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video.